So my name is uh, Piotr Ruschel. I'm uh, uh, currently a professor of, uh, technically I think it's called of gravitational physics at the University of Vienna. Uh, I'm uh, Polish. Uh, I've been uh, educated at Warsaw uh, University. Uh, so I have a PhD from there. After my PhD, I was um, uh, hired as a uh, assistant professor at the Polish Academy of Sciences. Been there for several years. Uh, visited a few places in the world. Uh, after that, I was a full professor in France um, at Tour University, um, then a professor at Oxford University. And uh, for the last six years now, I've moved to Vienna. So, um, as a student, I, uh, I was um, very interested by general relativity because uh, it was a, uh, a nice field which uh, required going beyond what one usually knows as a theoretical physicist. I mean, I mean one had to learn all this differential geometry and things like that. So, I started in, uh, as a theoretical physicist interested in general relativity. Now, if you start asking questions in general relativity, you very uh, immediately find out that you need to know a lot about mathematics and PDEs and um, geometric analysis to, to make any progress. So, so that was, that's how it started and uh, yeah, so that's where I am now. I've been looking uh, a lot into black holes. Well, I, I should say that uh, general relativity has uh, several subtopics, which are evolutions, which are uh, the initial data, which are differential geometry uh, as such, uh, asymptotics, uh, one can keep going with the list and I've been involved in, in some of this, in, in all aspects of this throughout my career. But uh, the things I've been doing recently was uh, on one side looking at um, black holes, their property, uh, uniqueness, how can you characterize them. Uh, and another aspect which I've been looking at for years and came back to it recently was the energy of the gravitational field. How can you define it? Can you understand it? What are its properties? There are um, some um, interesting questions related to positivity of energy. Um, so these are the kind of, of things I, I have been looking at. I would hope that uh, everyone has noticed the recent discovery of gravitational waves. Uh, or the announcement that they have been seen in uh, rather sophisticated instruments. Uh, of course, uh, to be completely sure that these are gravitational waves and to be able to do some physics and mathematics and uh, to get some understanding of the universe out of it, we need to see more events like that. And uh, I very much hope we will. And uh, uh, obviously, this is something which opens uh, up a lot of uh, interesting physical questions, astrophysical questions. You can uh, look into cosmological problems uh, with uh, uh, these uh, waves and uh, a whole fascinating uh, field of mathematical questions because uh, there is still uh, quite a bit of work to do to have a, a good mathematical understanding of gravitational waves.